Hello everybody, my name is Timo Kaiser and I want to thank you for your interest in making higher order MOT scalable, an efficient approximate solver for lifted disjoint paths. Written by Andrea Wonokova, me, Paul Svoboda, Michael Rolinek, Bodo Rosenhahn and Roberto Henschel. The disjoint path formulation is a powerful and intuitive model for multiple object tracking. Each detection is represented as a vertex in a directed graph. Trajectories can be formed by connecting vertices with edges as shown in the figure. The set of unactivated and activated edges forms a solution space. To determine which edges should be activated, cost can be defined for all edges, indicating if the vertices belong to the same person or not. The underlying problem is now to minimize the costs over all activated edges, observing the constraints that every vertex can maximally have one outgoing and one incoming edge. Because this formulation is prone to local errors, it was extended to the lifted disjoint pass formulation, which is achieving state-of-the-art results because it integrates higher order information. The higher order information is integrated by adding lifted edges between non-consecutive vertices, which are defined as activated if the vertices belong to the same trajectory. With corresponding edge probabilities or costs, the lifted edges are also added to the objective function. This formulation enables the compensation of local errors by meaningful lifted edge cost. But unfortunately, due to the MP hardness, the LDP formulation was not applicable for large video sequences, especially with crowded scenes. This video snippet shows the crowded scene in the MLT20 dataset. To tackle this problem, we introduce a novel approximate LDP solver and integrate it into a tracking framework. For a given detection set, we first create lightweight features and classify if detections belong to the same trajectory or not. Based on this, we create a sparse LDP graph, and finally, this is the highlight, we solve the problem with our novel approximate solver based on a dual decomposition framework. More in detail, the lightweight costs which indicate if two vertices belong to the same person are based on a spatial and an appearance feature. An appearance feature for a vertex is given by the re-identification network DGNet introduced by Zeng et al. The cosine similarity of two features indicates the appearance similarity between two persons. The spatial similarity is given by the intersection over union of the two bounding boxes after the box centers are aligned to the same position. Inspired by Honakova et al, we use global context normalization. For this, we define new relative similarities by normalizing the similarity values over all similarity values corresponding to outgoing edges, incoming edges, edges that end or begin in the same frame, and overall edges. So we create 22 similarity scores, which are finally passed to a trained and lightweight multilayer perceptron, whose output is the cost value of the edge. We set the cost for base and lifted edges to the same value to reduce complexity. To reduce the problem complexity, we create a sparse LDP graph without losing important information. This pruning is based on the calculated cost mentioned before. The base edges are intersection of two edge sets. The first set contains edges over every vertex to its three low cost neighbors from every subsequent frame. The second set selects for every vertex the best edges to its preceding frames analogically. Moreover, edges with spatial displacement that would cause unplausible high velocities are removed. Additionally, edges longer than 6 frames must have costs lower than a threshold of 3. If a lifted edge has cost around 0, it is not discriminative and so we remove it. To avoid double counting of edge costs, we subsequently set costs of all base edges between non-consecutive frames to zero, so that only lifted edges maintain the costs. Finally, we induce soft constraints by setting very likely edges to a very low cost value. Therefore, we define edges to be very likely if the similarity scores are near to the maximum possible similarity. The main contribution of our paper is a novel approximate LDP solver that is able to solve very large LDP graphs in relatively short time. To get you an overview about the solver, the main ideas are described briefly in the following. As described before, the underlying problem can be formulated as a minimization problem with a set of costs C and binary variables X. We perform a Lagrange decomposition by dividing the problem instance into subproblems, which are defined by subsets of all costs and variables. For instance, you can see two subgraphs in the global LDP graph on the right hand. 
The upper graph shows an inflow problem with all edges directed to a vertex and the lower one an outflow problem with edges starting from exactly the same vertex. Optimizing the subproblems independently and accumulating the objective values yields to a lower bound for the global minimum. We now link the subproblems by modifying cost values for edges E, which occur on multiple subproblems so that the sum of cost CEI equals to the original cost CE in the global graph. The subproblems are now updated iteratively by message passing to increase the lower bound given by accumulated objectives. For the update, we use coupling constraint as shown in the figure with an example edge that is member of two subproblems. Delta is added to the initial cost in one subproblem and subtracted in the other subproblem, which increases the lower bound monotonically. Finally, in each iteration, we solve the primal solution using minimum cost flow with the graph created with the subproblems and the updated costs. For this, we also need to fuse the costs of base and lifted edges. You can see a scheme in the figure. We decrease the gap between the lower and the primal solution by increasing the lower bound and potentially decrease the primal solution iteratively to find an approximate solution. Please have a look into the paper for more algorithmic details. We evaluated our method on competitive mod challenge benchmarks, namely MOT 15, 16, 17 and 20. The solver achieves nearly the same tracking results than an optimal LDP solver, but with a highly improved runtime and a scalable to large and crowded sequences such as in MOT 20. Moreover, we compared the runtime of our solver against a professional and runtime optimized optimal LDP solver implemented in the Gurubi framework. We took a short subsequence of a video and increased the length of the subsequence step by step to show the impact of problem size on the solver runtime. For fairness, we use the same graph and costs for both solvers. We also evaluated intermediate solutions of our solver after some optimized iterations. If we compare the time and the IDF1 metric, we see that our approximate solver is dramatically faster than the optimal solver by getting mostly the same IDF1 metric. Interestingly, it showed that sometimes a suboptimal solution after some iteration is even better with respect to the tracking metric, but this, I need to clarify this, is not always the case. The experiments show that our solver elevates the LDP formulation to crowded sequences. Thank you for your interest in lifted disjoint path optimization and multiple object tracking. Tracker and solver code is available at GitHub and feel free to ask questions if you have.